For shaving a resident, the shaver should be in their room. So I'm going to knock on the door. I do have a clothing protector. So knock on the door. Hi, Lee. I'm here to shave you today. Here's your clothing protector. I'm going to sanitize my hands. I'll provide for privacy. Bring your bed up a little bit and raise your head up. We'll get your clothing protector on so we don't get whiskers all over your clean shirt here. Okay, there's always the risk of contact with blood when you're shaving, so we're going to put gloves on. However, or the um, electric razors, it's pretty difficult to nick someone, but again, if the risk is there, we need to have gloves on. Okay, so with the electric razor, um, we're just going to put that on his skin and go against the way the um, hair follicles grow. If they are wrinkled or they have a lot of excess skin, we want to kind of stretch out that skin so it's nice and smooth. Anytime we have a wrinkle there, that would be the highest risk for nicking them. So we, we would just continue to do that. We can ask them to raise his chin up and go up. And then continue to do his face. Again, keeping his skin nice and tight and smooth. And then we'll go under his nose as much as possible. Okay, everything feeling okay? Okay, and we'll turn the razor off. Um, typically, there's a part that comes off on the top, and so I'm gonna do that over the garbage and get all the whiskers out of there. Okay, there's usually a cover for the razor. And then if it has a cord to plug it in, you're gonna charge that overnight so it's gonna work the next day as well. So we'll keep that plugged in by his bedside. Okay, anything else I can do for you? Okay, we'll put that clothing protector into our dirty utility. Get my gloves off. Sanitize my hands. Okay, let's lower your bed back down. You okay with your head up? Okay. Okay, our bed is locked. You have your call light there. I'm gonna open the curtain. Then if you do happen to um, nick the person, you're gonna report that to the nurse. If you have anything, if any blood gets onto the clothing protector, you would put that into a biohazard bag if you feel like it's going to drip, um, but typically there's not going to be that much blood from just a nick. So um, I'll see you later, Lee.